When Harry Solomon and his wife Lorraine found these home movies in a family closet, it took them back a few years. 1929, yeah, see the date? We knew that they existed, we hadn't seen them in years and years. You see, these are films of Harry's long deceased parents on their honeymoon cruise to Havana. He was having, they were having a good time. Now, if it looks like all his mom and dad did in Havana was drink on their honeymoon, remember, 1929 was the height of prohibition in America? Prohibition had already been in effect for 10 years and would go another four. But besides all the delicious popcorn, I found the best part of the Solomon's Home movie to be the 1929 crew stop in Miami. Okay, now this is government cut. And there's a seaplane there. There's a trolley car going across the MacArthur Causeway. Now, wait a minute. Trolley cars to Miami Beach? Well, as you can see, things have changed in the past 60 years. There's the skyline of Miami. There's, you saw the Freedom Tower there, which at that time was a Miami news building. Now, hold on. Let's look at that again. This was once the Miami skyline. Well, the Freedom Tower, Everglades Hotel, and the courthouse are still around, but today there's been a few more buildings added to our skyline. And how about tourist attractions? You know, back then, no tourist would even think of coming to Miami and not seeing the Musa Isle Indian Village. In downtown Miami, there used to be an Indian Village right there on 27th Avenue, right around 15th Street. Of course, now you don't see any Indians at all here along the Miami River and 27th Avenue. What used to be considered the outskirts of town is now a a boat yard in the middle of town. That's why there's no gators around. And after feeding the gators, Harry's parents went on to tour the city itself. Recognize it? Okay, this is the Douglas entrance in Miami in on Southwest A Street and Douglas Road. It's still in existence, it's still there. They just redid it. What's that? Say you don't recognize it? Well, let's try shooting it the same way they did while driving. <laughs> nah, you should recognize it. But then that's the nice thing about home movies. Who cares what they look like, as long as they bring back memories. John Holden, News 4.